Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's a flat card. I don't make these very often. Um, this card I made from this card. And this card I made from my sister uh, for her granddaughter, who's 14. And um, she asked me if I'd make a 14th birthday card. So I did this and I thought, oh, I like that. And so I came up with this one without the 14 on it. This one here is a 5 by 7 and this one's obviously our standard card. I can see what I forgot to do. I forgot to put um, Wink of Stella on the lipstick. Well, I can do that afterwards as I don't know if you can tell there on the... It's not showing it up but on the lipstick cover there's um, Winker Stella. So that's where this idea come from. I'll show you how I made this longer which reminds me I need a pen I've got. Um, it is still the Stampin' Up bottle but I've just made it longer. You'll need plenty of masks for this, the flowers and some lipstick masks which I have already cut out. Um, yeah, right. To get to uh, the stamp sets I used was Dress to Impress. I have got the dies as well for this. I had to put one here because they won't all fit in my box. Oh, there's another mask. Might need that. So I have obviously used the bottle, the lipstick and the two flowers. I'm using everything rosy for the sentiment. May your birthday be filled with pretty things. And I've also used happy birthday to you just for these little tiny dots here that go around the outside. Card stock. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and it is now burnished. I have a piece of melon mambo at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I have a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters. So we'll use this, and that is very rough. Let's try and get rid of these little bits. That's better. Right. Now then, we're going to, first of all, we're going to ink up the flowers. So we're going to use Memento ink for this and we're going to lay one of the flowers down in the left hand corner and put that there. Remember if you're using photopolymer stamps to use your stamping pad. I don't need to because I have a great big thick pad here which cushions it off. Right now I am going to stick a mask over the top of that and I'm using one of the other flowers and I am going to stamp that just there. And I'm going to mask that off. And do another one of the single flowers. And I'm going to do that this way. Like 
that. Oh dear, oh yeah. I didn't think I had a mask for this one, but I do. Which is there. And then with the double flower. I am going to stamp that down again. And then mask that. Right now it is the time of the lipstick. So ink up the lipstick. And I'm going to stamp that down just here. I'm going to stamp quite a few, quite a bit of the lipstick. You know, quite a bit of the bottom part of it. Just hide a bit of it behind the row, the flowers. Um, I'll do another one. But because I want to come down a bit further, I've got a bit of paper I'm just going to put here. Because I want that to come down a bit more so it's not the same height as the first lipstick. Alright, now we should mask them. You don't get to see what this is like until we finish stamping. Now we're going to do the bottle. When you ink this up, try not to ink at the bottom of the bottle. It doesn't matter if you do get ink on the bottom, because you can wipe it off. Like this. Just wipe it off and make sure it's clean. And then we're going to stamp that up there. Like that. And what we are going to do is get a fine pen. I have got a stamping up pen and the ruler and just draw a line from wherever you want and then draw a line from the flowers so it's sitting on the unit. Right. Now we're going to finish with that black ink. Bringing this in and our lovely lipstick. And a mask for the bottle might not be long enough no it isn't but we won't worry about that i can bring it down a bit i need to just trim this corner a bit and we're going to get our dots and we're just going to dot outside the masks. Don't 
I want to go in a too straight a line. Right, this one we'll just bring it down a little bit. Just in that corner, just so that we can And then just go where you think you missed and need some more. That'll do fine. And you can pull all your masks off. And look at your artwork. Right, what we've got to do is put on our sentiment. So I'm going to use Versify for that. And actually stamp this upside down so I can see it better. And just stamp this in the top right hand corner. Or if you're doing it like me, it'll be the bottom left hand corner. And there you have your sentiment on. Right. Just put these back in the box so I don't lose them. Okay, so I need them again. Right now, we're going to colour this in. So, for the perfume, I did that in yellow and I'm using light so saffron. Just colour it all. I'm just going around the edges at the moment. Now with the label, I did, on this one, I did it in um, chrome cake, but I'm actually going to do it in chrome, no I don't want chrome cake, just because I was talking about it, I'm going to do it in smoky slate, so it looks silver.
Right. And then I will colour the lipsticks in lovely lipstick. I don't know why I didn't colour the bottle in first, finish off that, never mind. And this middle bit is lovely lipstick as well. For the bottle top, I have used soft sea foam because it's supposed to be glass. Right, for the lipstick tubes, I use smoky slate. shopping yesterday. Talk about mad. Could hardly get anything. Telling my daughter and my sister about it. And today they've both turned up with what I couldn't get in the shop we went to. Couldn't believe it. Toilet rolls, tin vegetables, you name it, they bought it between them, which I thought was very, very nice. Right, the flowers. I am using light rich rosaberry, yep, and blushing bride. Now, you can't get blushing bride in pens. This is pink pirouette pen, but when it ran out, I re-inked it with Blush and Bride ink because I didn't have any pink pirouette re-inker. Right, that one's pink, so this one's going to be pink. This one's going to be pink. My sister actually took a photograph of this card and she wants to try and make it. I did tell her I was filming it today, so if she gets stuck, she just have to wait until the video comes out, which will be next week. You'll see it next week. I think I've just coloured over a leaf. Never mind. Right, the leaves I coloured in in um, 
granny apple green I think I used. Well, that's what I'm going to use today. So we just... in these leaves and oh yeah and I'm going to do this part in the green um, soft sea foam. And there we have it. That's our card coloured in. And we just need to stick this on there. I do anything inside. Oh yeah, I did some roses inside. We'll do that again in a minute. Right. Stick this on here. this on our card base. Make sure it opens up. And we'll get a piece of it inside. And we will stamp our flowers. One there and one there. And then quickly colour them in. So only apple green for the leaves. Blushing Bride for flowers. So the small one on this one can be Blushing Bride, and the big one on this one. Raspberry And we'll just stick this inside. Like. There you have it. 
I'm not putting gems on it. Oh, I will put some glitter on it. Let me find the right. No, nope, wrong one. That's it. And we'll just stick some Winkers Dora on the tubes. Oh, I was going to do this one as well, wasn't I? Uh, Got to do, which I'll do shortly. With your smoky slate light and your thin end, you need to go just on this side, the left hand side, and just draw down a nib's worth. To give a shadow. And across the top of the bottle. And also round the flowers. Just so it looks like there's a, a shadow under them. And it also makes them pop out the page. Hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.